morning welcome back to the channel if you are new go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so let's go ahead and get in today's video uh, don't mind my hands I was doing some other type of talking <laughs> but uh, yeah let's go ahead and get into the products that we'll be using so I'm going to go ahead and go in with this Amazon um, new poly gel um, it's in, in ugh. it's in the color skin tone I did use its sister um, coffee in um, a previous set and I really liked how um, the coffee one looked so I'm gonna go ahead and give the skin color um, a try so I did get off of Amazon and it is 30 ml and also with the set we are going to be using the model ones clear poly gel we're gonna use some regular black gel polish some blooming gel that I got off of Amazon and also this glittery black um, gel polish that we're going to be using for today's set and we're also going to be using some rhinestones I wasn't really sure which ones I wanted to use but I did just stick with the Swarovski's um, I got those Swarovski's from Michaels when they were going out of sale or when they were uh, discontinuing them so um, I did just go in with the Swarovski's I didn't go in with the, the other ones and we are going to be um, incorporating a teddy bear as well into the nail set um, I did go ahead and size out my um, my nail, full cover nail tips so I am going in with my BTA art box um, full cover extra extra long square nail tips and again I do I do the full cover nail tips because it helps me um, apply poly gel sooner or later I will get to using the uh, the tips <laughs> but for right now I like using the full cover uh, nails so my nails are already applied um I did go ahead and uh, buff them up as well like you know clean up around the cuticle area and buff the shine off of the nail and now I'm going to go in with the clear poly gel for my pinky um, I did clear on my pinky and clear on my thumb and the other three fingers they're going to be completely um, that coffee poly gel color I'm sorry y'all if I sound like I'm everywhere child ooh life I'm, we just gonna say that life but um yeah gonna speed it up so you guys can go ahead and watch it I did show uh, two fingers on camera because it's very repetitive I showed the pinky and I showed um, the nude color because it's just very repetitive So with the clear nail, I did go pretty fast um, with that. So I'm going to slow it down now with this um, nude uh, color. So what I did was spread the poly gel um, halfway 
up the nail because I do the two bead method. So I spread the poly gel halfway up the nail and then I kind of like press it out so then that way it can go from like edge to edge. Um like edge to edge and then I like smooth it out I really don't really know how to explain it I'm like explaining it explaining it to the best of my abilities you know but um see I'm just going from like edge to edge patting it out and then once it's edge to edge that's when I go ahead and smooth it to make it smooth and make sure that I keep my shape and you know things like that I am going in with um let me see 91% alcohol um, for my slip solution. I don't like to use base coat because you waste a lot of base coat and it just makes the poly gel a lot softer, especially if the poly gel is already soft. It just makes it like extremely softer. So yeah, I would use like the base coat like for a uh, McCart's clear poly gel because to me that poly gel isn't soft so that's what I would use the base coat for but I'm just using alcohol to go ahead and spread this out So this is the second bead, which is my cuticle bead. And when I do this, I push it up to the cuticle area, but not touching the cuticle. And I make sure that it's going from like side wall to side wall. That way uh, I could, you know, spread it out. And I do kind of keep like a good hump kind of like in the middle. That way that could kind of like uh, build and form my apex. And once that, you know, once it's looking how I want it to look, I go ahead and just smooth it out and spread it out um, on the nail. Alright gang, so this is how the nails are looking before they are filed and shaped and buffed and everything. I think I did pretty good with my little application, yes. But now I'm just going in with this file that I picked up out of my file bucket. I don't know where I got it from. Don't even know what grit it is. Um, I think it feels like an 80 grit. I don't know, it doesn't even feel like an 80 grit. I think it was like a 100, 100 grit file. But um, I used that file to clean up um the side walls and underneath the nail um i think i was too lazy to grab my 100 my um 8080 80 grit file but either way it did go ahead and clean up the side walls um of the nails Now that I'm done with my hand file, I am going to switch to my e-file and I'm going to go in with this ceramic um, cone bit and go around the cuticles and go on the surface of the nail as well to smooth it out. And I am going to speed this up because this clip is pretty long and I'm sure you guys don't want to sit <laughs> and watch all of that in real time. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna speed this up. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for watching my video or clicking on my video, thank you. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and subscribe, please. If you don't wanna subscribe, that's totally fine. Um, maybe you can leave a comment or maybe you could like a video. That would be really, really appreciated. But other than that, if you are a returning subscriber, um, and you've been watching my you know my channel and watching my videos thank you so much i really do appreciate you you are very much loved and without you i don't think i would be doing this but you guys motivate me to you know do sets and stuff but if there's anything that you would like to see me do or you want to create my next nail um my next set comment down below and we can you know we can discuss that and figure it out but let's go ahead and get him back to the video so now I'm going to go in with my 8080 grit file and I'm just going to uh, crispen up the free edge of the nails. Make sure I got a sharp crisp square. Yes. And then once I am done with that, I am going to go in with my um my buffing block. I did not go in with the cuticle oil like I did before. I, I didn't like it. I, I mean, I like like I said, I liked how it turned out like how the nails were all smooth and everything but I didn't like how it was clogging up the um the buffer so the nails have been all file shaped clean and buffed and now I'm going to go in with uh, the blooming gel on the pinky finger and what you want to do with the blooming gel is you want to apply a good amount of blooming gel onto the nail and then while it's still wet you want to go ahead and put you know um whatever lines or polish or anything like that that you want to use on top of it while the blooming gel is uncured so what i did is take some black gel polish and i'm just swirling it like all over on the nail in different spaces i don't know i should have went in with a um with a um lining brush to put on my lines that would have made it a little bit more um I don't know a look I don't know more details not just like blobs so next time I'll know next time um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and flash cure that now with this um, ring finger I am going to do a uh, French and here goes here goes Bay. like I said y'all so what I forgot to say is with this um, French tip I'm not going in with the solid gel polish I'm going in with the glittery black gel polish to do um, my French. So moving on to the index finger and I thought I was recording but I wasn't um, I just I just I'm just taking the same um, black glittery gel polish and I did just like a side French side line side swirl side something I did a side something with this polish and um, I did go in with the second coat off camera um, and cured everything for a total of 60 seconds what I just did was open the um, Swarovski crystals and now I'm just going to go ahead and apply top coat onto um, this nail, the um, ring finger, and I'm going to apply the um, Swarovski crystals onto the nails as well. And the top coat is not cured. Don't be underway, you can hit me on my 
So now I'm just going in the with the McCart rhinestone glue and this teddy bear that came from your nail lab subscription box last month and I'm going to go ahead and cure that for a total of 30 seconds and then um, I noticed that it was kind of crooked so I had to make do with you know you got to do you got to use what you got to get what you want and I wanted a look so I had to use what I had to get what I want. So I'm just using this McCart rhinestone glue again and I'm just applying it at the top of the head and at and in the middle of the feet at the bottom at the middle of the feet and we're just going to use the same rind, um, Swarovski crystals again and make it look good. And once I am done with applying the Swarovski crystals onto the nail, I did go ahead and flash cure it again. Well, I did go ahead and cure it again for a total of um, 60 seconds just to make sure everything is in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and go around all of the gems and the teddy bear and apply the top coat. So what I should have did to make like my gems look a little bit more, I don't know, elegant, I should have went in with some caviar beads like in between the gems and that I feel like that would have like set it off. I don't know why I haven't been using my caviar beads because I've been using a lot of gems but no caviar beads and they really like set a look off. They really like pop. Um, let me see. Oh, uh, yeah, I did go ahead and um, apply a top coat on the pinky and the thumb as well. Um, I did the same design on the thumb as like I did on the pinky. Um, and now I'm just going to go ahead and apply my cuticle oil onto um, my cuticles and I'm going to rub that in. But if you guys have watched the video this far, I really want to thank you. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you like the video or like how the nails turned out just watch until the end you'll see the full look but um if you like the video or like how the nails turn out go ahead and um like the video as well and just leave a little comment let's leave um a black heart down below that'll let me know that you watched the video but thank you so much you guys i love you and i don't have to say it twice bye